glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Yeah. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Huh. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Good job, Omid. Just wham! The thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. You keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? Right for the balls. We figure out who he is and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clinton, but she won't be safe if this guy's not going to stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Diabetes? I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. Sure shit ain't gonna be Kenny. Relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? Alright. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. How sure. in the hell? If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Did I th I threw a freaking head at a wall and did equally as much damage. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? No, nah, dude. I can handle it. The pain it is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. He took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Oh, well, I'll be damned. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty And good. let's just say assault I like I did. a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. <sighs> nope, I'm a man. God. Pregnant. Nope. Oh, shit. No! You're gonna have an alcohol for a baby! I'm through! Good job. No walkers. Things are looking up. Did I just say you're gonna have an alcohol for a baby? I don't even know what that means. Keep a goddamn eye out. <clears throat> <laughs> this place seems pretty sealed off. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, sour. Take the gun. <sighs> Let's keep moving. We gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. That's what Got I just said. One shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Uh. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. So, yeah, if, what the hell was that look? Yeah, kung fu movies. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Dude, I'm totally... I understand what you're talking about. What do you call this thing? Art? <laughs> Might be the way out. Oh, you mean a door. Not really perfect. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Seems safe. <clears throat> Alright, the one-armed guy can do it. Everybody else might be able to. And by might, I mean better. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? It's good to be moving. We can't stop. Damn right we can't. We're not too far. How are we finding this guy? we we'll just get to the hotel and stick together and use our heads. You got that walkie talkie? Great plan. Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Or, you know, surprise, because that would Careful make more cross sense. Here. Yeah, okay, that's safe. Oh, this, yeah. Okay. Okay! River Street's just up ahead. Nope. 
Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Huh. Let's get off of here now. Yep, that. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> Oh, you dumbass hick! Oh, fuck. damn Man, it, Kenny! I'm so sorry. I thought I killed Ben. Uh, just leave it. Leave it. We don't need it. We got a beat on this guy. Yeah, I agree. And when we don't, and when we don't know where to begin to look, any clue, even the smallest one, is invaluable. We need that thing. Fuck. Oh, you want to go Sorry. down and get it? Let's think this through. I just did. Oh, you... Christoph, Jesus I wasn't Christ. serious. I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Oh, this is... This is the worst idea ever. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Really? Give it to the one arm guy? Who am I? Freaking <gasps> Superman? Oh, fucking stupid woman. Oh, now you get a weapon. So, good luck. Jump! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> really? That's all you got? Me and my fucking mouth. <sighs> what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! You said all that shit, and not do something now. Come on, reach! <sighs> I got you, hon! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Oh, great. Get the pipe, Ken! Kenny! Jump up here, Ken! I'll grab you! Oh, hell. Get the fuck off me! We're going in after him! We can't! We have to! Lee! Oh, uh, Ken. Well, there goes Kenny. Where... where'd he go? We don't know. He could be down there still. He... he could be on the run. He... he... he could be gone. He could be okay. He went down there for you. I know he did. Ugh. Well, numbers getting smaller. Oh my god, you kill Kenny! You bastards! There it is, the one time. Marshall's hotel lives around the corner of the block. Are you okay? You don't say. Do you want to talk? Uh, nothing to say. We need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. I 
Are you okay? I should be asking you that. No, I'm good. I'm talking about. It's nothing. Kenny didn't die for her. It's nothing. Let's just keep moving. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Yeah, that's a joke. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. Huh. Obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'm going go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. There is not enough note in the world for this shit. Just go nice and slow. Shut up, Omid. I don't have time for your bullshit. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Yeah, easy. Oh, fuck! Shit. Are you okay? No, I'm, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm kinda fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it, I'm going for it, man mode! I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It Don't ask. I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Man mode! Get him all way, bitch! Suck it! Oh shit! Oh shit! Man mode denied. Round two! Suck it! Man mode! Blow a go! Suck a dick! Eat some chicken strips! Oh, bad mode! Oh, bad mode! Suck it! Ain't nothing! <laughs> Monster kill! Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> I had to do that joke.
Why aren't you clever? Locking one door with the other. Who the hell are I you? Got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. You too. And you're missing an arm. Well, oh, man mode will do that. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. So we're just gonna have a nice little chat here with your bowling ball bag. Do you know who I am? No. No, actually I don't. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Great. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, and that Clem and I didn't take? Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Great. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I Get the head of somebody in there, huh? I want you to know what happened. It better not be your son's head in this bag or I'm going to be super pissed. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? <laughs> Nine times. Yes, of course. Who? <laughs> My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. She had a penis. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. Like a My bullet in the head? Went missing. Oh, damn it, really? I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back. And all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. Yep. His stupid fucking wife. Sure. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Oh. 
I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Uh, as long as you're holding that gun. <laughs> but yes, we all do. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> I did what I had to. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. Because she had a gun. It was impossible to save him. To save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. How do you know this shit? That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. No, I'm probably not. I'm already dead anyway. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We you have, have got to be out of your white picket fence, tire swinging, you don't even know blue shutter, confederate She's flag eight. on Wrong. the porch, white ass. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm bitten. What? Yep. I got bit. And I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her and you'll be rotting in the streets. Yeah, you're not so smart. Hey, honey. Oh, you I did bring her head. this is all gonna work out. Yeah, you're not crazy. <laughs> I'm glad to. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about the cleaver. I hate seeing you like this. Put it in the back of his I head. Your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. Right in she wouldn't the back of the head. <gasps> That's not the head! <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm black. Go, Urban. Now it's one arm versus one arm. Suck it. You're mine, white bitch. You're mine. Urban just went suburban. Diabetes. Check your blood sugar. Check it often.
Right in the head. Sorry, Clamp. 